Peter Moore has this exclusive report. Not everyone accepts me, um, not even the people I care for. A few patients would have uh, expressed that um, they would refuse to be seen by me. So what does the health minister say? I would say that's not acceptable in the health service in Northern Ireland. All our trust, my department has a zero tolerance policy and that should be upheld. It's not just racist abuse that health workers have had to worry about during the pandemic. Studies have shown that people from minority ethnic backgrounds were more at risk of COVID, more at risk of serious illness and more at risk of death as well. Last night, chaos in the Holy Lands. And this morning, the aftermath. This man has lived in the area for 13 years. Sometimes you feel you do feel a bit intimidated going out. And that's why you're not appearing on camera today because you feel yeah, you do. targeted. You go on camera, your house will get targeted. Every September, university students return to the streets here in the Holy Lands. And every September, we see those similar scenes. There are calls for agencies to do more to stop the disruption, especially ahead of next week's freshers. We want to warn you that this exclusive report from Peter Moore starts with the footage of Declan McCallion having a tick attack. <laughs> Tourette's. It's far more than just swearing. For 10-year-old Declan, these involuntary ticks are completely debilitating. I struggle away a lot, so I do with all the stuff going off. <clears throat> and no sleep and it's just I've got bruises everywhere and I'm so pain. I'm so much in pain. That's my pit line, all hooked up to my chemo. Um, I'm up in the Ulster. Like many cancer patients during the pandemic, Rochelle's treatment was delayed by two weeks. You have this cancer and it's like a, it is like a ticking time bomb. Who here has family who are stuck in the south of Africa? Everyone here has been affected by the travel changes. My son booked to travel on the 6th of January. His grandfather had a stroke and he wants to go see his grandfather. His grandfather is crying out to see his oldest um, grandson. And now I have to tell his opa that he cannot see him. And the chances that he might never see him alive are quite high. Watch. Meet Jay, Lucy and Archie with their mum, Zoe. This fun loving trio have been modelling for a couple of years. They really enjoy standing in front of the camera, posing. Clearly he's just sitting here happy as Larry to be filmed. You on a calendar in Dublin? Yeah. What's that going to be like? Get me. And you enjoy it, do you? Yeah. Lucy and Jay showing the world that their disabilities will not hold them back. Oh, yeah. Peter Moore, UTV Live.